Hey guys, Shane Summers with DroidModRace.com. Today I'm going to show you guys how to install Signage Mod 11 Android 4.4 KitKat on the Verizon Galaxy S4. This installation method will be the same on other variants as well. Um, all that's required is a custom recovery. Uh, this can only be flashed if you have an unlocked bootloader or in my case on the Verizon Galaxy S4. My, my bootloader is exploited by the Loki modification which is similar to an unlocked bootloader. This will not work on safe strap. So if you're on a Verizon Galaxy S4 and you're running the safe strap, uh, currently there's no way to run Signage Mod on this device uh, with only safe strap. You'll need the unlocked bootloader or a modified bootloader. So we'll go ahead and get started. What you'll need is the Signage Mod 11 Nightly, as well as the G Apps package. I'll be sure to include links to those in the description. And then you just want to reboot into recovery. Okay, so once you're in recovery, the first thing you want to do is wipe. Swipe to wipe. This is going to wipe data, cache, and Dalvik cache. If you're in another recovery, uh, you'll want to do those separately. So if you're in clockwork mod recovery, you'll need to do those one by one. Make sure that you do get the data, the cache, and the Dalvik cache. So we'll go back and we'll go to install. And then you'll want to find the Signage Mod 11 Nightly and the G apps. They should be in your download folder if you've downloaded them directly to your SD card. And I'll go with the latest nightly build. We'll go ahead and flash that. And as soon as this finishes, you'll want to go ahead and flash the G apps before moving any further. So as soon as the install is complete, uh, we will boot into Signage Mod 11, and I'll walk you guys through the setup, and I'll have a full review of this from later on. Okay, so as soon as that's finished, we'll go back and we'll find the G apps. So you're going for the G apps uh, for KitKat and make sure that is what you're flashing and we'll go ahead and install those. Okay, so as soon as that's finished, we'll reboot the system. We should be welcomed with the Signage Mod 11 mm -hmm. boot animation. This is a new boot animation for Signage Mod 11. And there is the new Signage Mod boot animation. It may take a few minutes. We've just wiped data, so it may take a few minutes to boot up. Just be patient. So one thing you'll notice the first time you boot into Signage Mod, it's going to ask you to sign into your Signage Mod account. So a lot of you guys know that Signage Mod, uh, they've become a corporation. So they have uh, raised up all kinds of money, all kinds of capital, and they have gone to Oppo and they actually have their first OEM device. So they will be uh, distributing their ROM on the Oppo N1 out of the box, which is pretty exciting for a homebrew ROM team like Signage at Mod. Pretty, pretty neat stuff. Okay, so this is Welcome to Signage at Mod. Of course, you'll pick your language. Okay, it says, I set up your signage and mod account, and I'm going to skip this. And then you can sign into your Google account. We'll pause here for just a second while I get signed in. Okay, so once you're signed in, it'll ask if you want to uh, sign into Google ser services. Okay, and we'll give it access to our location, GPS, and Wi-Fi. Okay, you can set your time zone here and then you'll see this screen setup is complete congratulations your phone is ready to rumble we'll go ahead and select finish then you can choose your launcher from here I'll go with the signage mod uh, or the KitKat launcher okay and here you have it of course this is the stock AOSP launcher uh, for KitKat 4.4 of course everybody knows signage mod is the team that brings uh, stock AOSP to a plethora of devices. You know, most of our devices would not be able to run the stock Android experience without Team CyanogenMod. You know, uh, the Galaxy S4, for instance, it has to run TouchWiz from the factory, but thanks to teams like CyanogenMod, we are able to run stock KitKat on our device. Hopefully other OEMs besides Oppo will decide to give us this option in the future. So then we can rely on developers to bring us, you know, Signage Mod and other ROMs 
so that we too can run the latest and greatest versions of Android. So this has been the how to install KitKat CyanogenMod 11 on the Galaxy S4. If you've enjoyed this video, be sure to click the like button. You can subscribe to this channel for more content like this in the future. Be sure to follow me on Twitter at DroidModerX. You can find more of me at DroidModerX.com. I'll have the latest in Android and tech news. Thanks guys for watching. Be blessed. I'll see you in the next one.